All right, greetings. Hello, my name is Neil. Uh, welcome to Mod the Mind. Been going over some GIMP videos. Um, wow, that could sound really strange. We're going over uh, how to edit files in GIMP and some other stuff, but I wanted to let you know that uh, I have an Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, that'd be cool. Don't have to, but uh, lately, I've man, I've caught hydro fever. It's all about just hydros right now, <laughs> completely. All right, uh, but I've, uh, here's a fire we had in town, sunsets, uh, and I, yeah, I take some cool shots on it on occasion. So I haven't been doing it as much lately. Need to do a lot more of it. But uh, yeah, feel free to check me out over there. Okay, link down below. So what we're gonna do today is we, last time, the well, two videos ago, what we did was we got through the basics of starting with GIMP and downloading templates and exporting. We didn't really get into painting boats. And believe it or not, that's still one video away. So what we're gonna do today is get ready to paint a boat. Uh, I am thinking of a Pepsi boat. So I'm gonna Google Pepsi logo, okay? And just see what kind of things we have. I'm clicking images and let's see, this is the most current imagery, right? So if I click this one, okay, this is looking really good. It looks like a transparent background. That's what all the check marks are. It's big if you, once I clicked on it and then I hover over it, it shows me how big it is. It's basically 4K. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to save image as. All right, now, where do I put this? Well, we're gonna put it, I'm gonna click Teams, but that's not where I'm going. That just takes me to the place, right? So, click in there. Uh, H1 Sim, all right, Boat Builder. That's what I made a few days back. So this is where I also just showed in the last video uh, how to uh, update the game so you have the newest version running. So I still have the old version, I could delete it, but I just, I don't have to. It, it, it plays well with its, uh, wow, that was also gonna be a bad one, whoo. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna click on Boat Builder. And uh, so there's the one I was making last time, Orange in Progress. So this time I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call it Pepsi Boat. Cause I don't even know what number I want it to be yet. All right, so, well, you know, should I call it a Miss Pepsi? Nah, we'll just go Boat. Okay, Pepsi Boat, there we go. And uh, this image that I started with here was the Pepsi logo, PNG, that sounds fine to me. Save it. What else do we got? That gets me some blues. Uh, okay, so this image here, I have kind of a vision, and that's the key part of this whole thing, is have some sort of vision of what you wanna do. And I like that blue. Let me see, they also put it with the blue here. I think I like the lighter blue, but I'm, I'm gonna download this image, because I want that blue. So I'm gonna say save image as, it's got some crazy name. Oh, here's something you run into. This is a web file. We trick it, we go to all files, and I'm gonna rename this, and see how it says .webp? Yeah, we're gonna change that. So this is going to be blue logo, because that's the key thing that I want off that, .png. If I do that, I have now saved just the image. The other thing saves it as like a web page, basically, and it does not help anything at all. All right, is there anything else imagery-wise that we may want? Uh, not really seeing any. You know, this is kind of cool. I could throw that on the back of the boat, maybe. All right, so save image as, PNG, third logo. Actually, I want to call it old dot png because it's kind of an older look right i don't like this one that's a weird i don't know hmm not really seeing much else to snag at the moment you anything of interest that looks really cool though the dots the bubbles okay so let's look up, and I had this idea earlier. Let's do bubbles, image, transparent background. I do think this may, this may look good. Um, these are not the right bubbles. That's not the look we're going for. What about these? These are okay. 
uh, but we got a lot of uh, watermark across there. Those are okay, but there's they're just not, I don't think that's gonna be very good, but we'll save image as. Uh, we're still in Pepsi Boat. I'm gonna call this bubbles one, and it's not, I'm not doing the HTML, because that's basically um, like a web page in a sense, right? So we're going dot PNG, and it should save just that image. Now, the likelihood is that it's not going to be transparent background by doing it that way. I have to check it out. Uh, hmm. That's kind of interesting. May work. Save image as. That one, water bubbles transparent. Okay. Um, PNG. That'll work. So we have a couple images. All right. I'm going to load up. Uh, let's see. We need to bring in the GIMP. I think the GIMP sleep. Well, I guess you just have to go wake him up now, won't you? <laughs> ah, good times. All right. New version. Hello. Uh, update available. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So what I want to do now is check into some of these images that we downloaded and see how they look. So, I mean, really, first off, we can get an idea of that just by going to them. Uh, H1 Sim is where I put them. Boat Builder, Pepsi Boat. In fact, there's something else I want to do before I get into that. So, I have Pepsi Boat, right? Um, I want a new folder because there's going to be a few things in, in here. So these all are the images, right? So if I make a folder and put all these in here into images, there we go. And then I can also make a different folder called, um, I guess I call it GIMP files, right? And that's where I can save, save the, uh, the game. All right, so as I look at these, I can tell that this one looks really good. That looks appropriate. That has a transparent background. This one does not, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go open that one. I can also, since I have it in an open folder, grab it and just drop it onto the screen. And there we go. So we're gonna mess with this image now. There's a couple ways. What I wanna do is get rid of all this white because I wanna be able to put this bottle cap wherever I want and not have a bunch of stuff behind it, right? So basically, to give you an idea of what we're doing, uh, there's a couple things here I'm gonna show you. This is a fuzzy select tool. Sometimes this will be a very helpful thing. I'm gonna go to select by color. All I did was press and hold the mouse and then release it there. If I click on the white, everything in white is now highlighted. If I hit delete, it's gone. Simple as that. That has now become fully transparent everywhere except the red and the blue for this image. Okay, does that make sense? I'm gonna hit Control Z, okay, because that's not actually the way I wanna do it, because I wanna keep the white on the bottle cap. So let's select none. That's something you're gonna have to do often. If you're trying to make something, uh, doing the boat, you got layers going on and it's not, you're, you're trying to change something and it's not working, probably there is a selection on a different layer. So this is something you gotta remember. Select none, do that. Occasionally, you'll you'll get the feel for it. Also, with this whole thing on GIMP, you're going to need to be messing with it a little bit. See what stuff does, you know. Um, just go with an image you don't really care about, you know, like, and just give it a go. See what happens. Okay, so that selected all of the white. I don't want to select all of the white. I kind of want to select only the outside of the white. So I click and hold, and I'm on fuzzy select. Okay. Now I'm going to click this white section. Now, do you see where that little dotted line is? Let's zoom in. Okay, that dotted line right there. It has now selected all of the white, with the exception of right down here because they didn't connect the blue. So it's going straight in on that, okay? So if I was to hit delete right now, there we go. It looks pretty good, except we have this section, okay? We gotta fix that. I'm gonna hit Control Z undo that um, 
and I'm gonna select none, okay? So this is just our stock image, right? Right when we started, right? Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing this, and I'm gonna do it in kind of a weird way. <laughs> so all this stuff is like, do, do stuff your own way that works for you, and uh, you'll, you'll figure it out kind of a thing. Uh, it's, there's a lot of learning to it. All right, uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grab this, select, uh, this uh, lasso tool, okay? And what I wanna do is select a portion of this image that I am going to copy and then paste. All right, all you have to do is connect the dots and that is a locked in section, okay? I'm gonna click the move tool. I don't even know if I have to, but I did. And I'm on the selection and I'm on this layer. Well, it's the only layer I got right now. I right click, I'm gonna go edit and I'm going to copy. I just copied that little thing, right? All right, now if I want, I can paste that. Well, if I paste on layer, I don't know. We'll see. Um, all right, now I'm going to select none again because I don't want anything there. And now I'm gonna do my fuzzy select, click the white, hit delete, I'm gonna go back to select and none because I don't want anything there. And a minute ago, a moment ago, I copied that image. I'm gonna right click anywhere on the screen. I'm gonna go edit and I'm gonna go paste in place. There it is. That's that image that I just took out before I did the other, the other cut there basically. And now I just place that onto here. See here, it's a floating selection. You can name all these. In fact, this one, I really I have to name it, otherwise it won't really save it as what it is. So I'm gonna double click there. It's called pasted layer right now. I'm gonna call it the fix. Fix, enter, and there it is. So that image is now nice and usable. So I can select none, okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna export this. So you're not just, if you save, you're saving the file that you're messing with, right? you have to export this as its own image. So I'm gonna go export as. Oh, actually, I could overwrite it too. I just saw that. Did you see that? Overwrite old PNG. That's what I named it old. It's not calling it old. All right, I just did it that way. So that means I don't have my other one anymore, but there's that one right there. Let's go to another image now. Um, I did some testing, these two aren't going to work. They just are going to fight me. But let's mess with this one here. Um, let's see, if I click it now, I'm basically bringing it into that. Um, I could right click and say open with, and it should make its own, uh, go down to GIMP. It'll make its own new one, okay. So here we are, Pepsi with transparent layer, okay. I like, I like. What I'm gonna do is, I want to be able to have just this image or just this image, okay? So, there's a couple ways of doing this. I think I'm just gonna crop out only what I need. So there's crop tool, and I'm gonna make a box around this. Uh, control and scroll wheel, okay? That gets me nice and close. If I get, see there's the line of what I was making, right? If I get right there, I can now control that just a little bit better. So I'm doing that. Now this is pressing on the mouse wheel to move myself around like so. I just wanna tighten it up. I don't have to tighten up a ton if I'm not mistaken because when I save it, there's a certain thing you can do. Okay, so there it is. Now I click here and there it is. That's the image I have. I'm gonna go File, Export As, because I want this to be its own thing. Pepsi logo uh, round. That way I know what I'm looking at, right? Okay, we'll do that. Let's see, is this the part? Export, that'll work. So here's the trick. That old undo button, control Z. There we go. Now I'm back to my original image. So now I can go crop and crop this. And it doesn't have to be super tight. I think that'll work. And I'll click anywhere on here and it's cut. 
file export as uh, this one Pepsi logo words export as I'm not gonna mess with any of it I think we're good okay if we go back to my file there's words there's a logo okay we have at least three logos that we can use this one here I was just going to get the blue off of that because I think I want to make that the, the boat blue all right so that's just some of the prep you want to do oh I just thought of something else we want to know what are we gonna call it right we're gonna call this boat the I don't know Pepsi uh, let's just go to like information about Pepsi right like when did they start how old are they uh, it was renamed Pepsi Oh, that's right. It was Brad's drink. I forgot about that. So it was Brad, Brad, <laughs> Brad's drink back in the day. Speaking of drink, I need a little. Okay. And it was renamed Pepsi Cola in 1898 and then shortened to Pepsi in 1961. I kind of like 61. Could be a U98, but I think go with the 61 because that's when it was the just Pepsi. So I think we'll call it the U61. All right, so that's what we're going to do in the next video. We are going to start in on painting a boat. It's going to be the Pepsi, the U61. Okay, sounds good. Um, like, subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a few more of these, and eventually we'll get into what Mod the Mind was, was originally intended to be a little bit, but uh, that's going to be a while, because right now it's just hydro fever. Okay. All right, talk to you later. Thanks.